है गाइज वेलकम टू दिस इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन ऑफ डॉट नेट कोर वेब ए पी आई इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज डाटा ट्रांसफर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट डी टी ओ और डाटा ट्रांसफर ऑब्जेक्ट इन सेल अवर डॉट नेट कोर वेब ए पी आई सो वॉट इज डी टी ओ ए डाटा ट्रांसफर ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉमनली नॉन एज डी टी ओ इज यूजली एन इंस्टांस ऑफ पोको पोको मीन्स प्लेन ओल्ड सीएलर ऑब्जेक्ट इट्स द इंस्टांस ऑफ पोको क्लास दैट यूज एज ए कंटेनर टू एनकाप्सुलेट डाटा एंड पास इट फ्रॉम वन लेयर ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन टू एनादर इट्स सेपरेट द सर्विस लेयर फ्रॉम द डाटा बेस लेयर इट्स हाइड द स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टी दैट क्लाइंट डोंट नीड टू रिसीव अमिट प्रॉपर्टी दैट रिड्यूज द पेलोड साइज इट्स मोनिपुलेट द नेस्टेड ऑब्जेक्ट मेक दैम मोर कन्वीनियंट फॉर क्लाइंट so for this i am already created a dot net core web api where i am using entity framework and getting the list of tvl product which is this one and inserting the record also so here i am i written one more api to save the record okay but in this table just let's run this application first and see it's working or not then we are going to implement the data transfer object or dto so in the application so here we have save product which is this is the api i am posting product name p name so you can see this is the p name p price p entry date so i am not posting here p entry date only p name and p price the product name and product price so if i click on send success let's go to the get get product click on send so you can see the but entry rate is getting null and also we are directly client directly getting no that what is the property name so if we, we here we are not segregating the data layer into our service layer so client directly know what is the exact property name of data layer so using dto we can hide this one so how let's stop the application and do the modification in our code guys please don't skip the advertisement in the youtube section it really encourage me a lot thank you so let's add one more model folder here so i am adding add new folder so this is a new folder i'm giving dto models here so you can see in db model in the link queue this is tbl product so this is the exact table name i'm going to create one more model inside my dto model folder or class there is something wrong in my mouse actually so i am giving product model the proper name i am keeping everything inside this but i want to give a proper name product name entry on on which date the product has entered save the model let's go to our controller section here also we are going to add using this model folder newly added dto model first we are going to modify this one so for this i'm going to write product model i know need of this one right 
inside this i will write a for each loop and assign the data to the our new dto model db dot i'm using with a traditional base so obj product dot id equal to this one obj product dot product name equal to our db context product name entry on equal to your dot p entry date right next is are this object here now we have added we encapsulate our complete model into this dto and into this list then let's run this application so you can see how it is working Let's go to Postman. So we have our get product. Click on send. So we are getting a proper name. Now, if we go to our save method, go to send. It's getting success. Because, okay. Why it is getting success? Because we didn't modify here. Okay. Now we are going to modify the same thing here in the save product. So for this, I no need of this right now. This will be product model. Next, declare one db dot tbl product. So here it will be product model and directly declare TBL product. Now assign the value of from the product model. So here I am giving this one date and time dot now. So it will add the current date and time. Now db dot tbl product dot add. Next db dot save changes. Now now see it is working or not. So let's go to our get product. get product is working let's go to our save product it is also getting save should not get save actually so you can see in our here we are posting p name p price that's why the data is getting null i'm not validating anyone till now so for this i'm going to product name price from our DTO model properties 
click on save product success now let's go to get you can see just now I added this one so in this way you can implement data transfer object inside your .NET Core web API guys if you like my video give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much